Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more of Klaus's Wunderstrafanstalt. <sighs> Gosh, I'll never say it right, guys. I never will. Don't don't expect anything else from me. It's just not going to happen. It's the best you're going to get. And I like to think that my ignorance of the German language and pronunciation and grammatical systems as an American is cringy but endearing in some way. I don't know. Anyway, we're getting rid of some of these walls over here in favor of a much larger wall all the way around the prison area. And now, let's see if we can actually get our stupid dog to do what it's supposed to be doing. Put you all the way around here. Like this. Okay? Is this too much to ask? Place. Dude, can you get your, do get, get your dog out here? What is wrong with you? I don't know if it's like, I don't know if it's like trying to deploy, they're not connected, but what if they're trying to get like this dog patrol to like hook up both of these or something? No, he's just doing nothing. I don't understand. I do not understand why this doesn't work. I'm sure I'm doing something stupid. No doubt about it in my mind. Let's go ahead and place you there. Place you there. Look how fast he moved. Oh my gosh. He's like, oh, Rick, Rick, they changed the deployment pattern to two feet away. Run. That was hilarious. Okay, please. What is wrong with you fools? Carrying jail keys, carrying dog leash. It is fun, by the way, if you sit here long enough, the sleeping dog starts making little roof, roof, roof noises. But right now he's very much awake. Whoop. They figured out something they want to do. Okay, wait, he's on patrol now. Well, what the heck changed? Was the dog just more tired than usual? Heck if I freaking know, but let's go ahead and just smell out this area. We'll expand this back out the way it's supposed to be. Okay, we seem, we, it's fine now. It's, I, I don't know what changed, but now it's okay. So, whatever. We're not gonna, we're not gonna analyze it too much. Let's go ahead and get out some more concrete tiles and grass, just because I like the look of it, make it look a little bit peaceful, blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and get some more gravel, t uh, concrete tiles out this way, too. Mm. Let's see. Uh, we'll do something kind of like this. There we go. You'll go here. Here, here, and grass is always greener on this direction. And then we shall also apply more concrete tiles to the forestry area. And grass. Not that this grass actually serves any purpose beyond a little bit of beautification, but we got some money to work with. We really might as well, right? We also should go ahead and start building out this area. Um, we got some of these... Uh, family prison cells kind of figured out. We could probably expand the dormitory. You could probably build out the common room. I said I wanted to do that a while ago. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, one honking common room coming up. Place it like this. There we go. Um, you know, one thing I could actually do is add some walls here and make this a cleaning cupboard and have an entrance to the shower over here. And I think I kind of like that better, actually. Let's do that. We're going to demolish that. We're going to place a brick wall here. One, two, three. It has to be three wide. So we'll do this. There we go. And this will be a tiny little cleaning cupboard over here. Yeah? Yeah. All right. For the common room, we can place a pool table because everyone likes pool. Doop. Uh, we could place, probably should place a TV. Um, like so. And we'll place some sofas so that they can all watch it. And there'll be a little sofa over here by the side so they can converse and stuff like that. Uh, we gotta get bookshelves in here too, right? Bookshelves, bookshelves. Where art thou? There's the bookshelves. We'll place a couple along over here. Um, actually, I could put in a large TV. Yeah, actually, cancel the bookshelves, cancel this TV, put in a big TV. Minimum security prisoners get special privileges. Um, I should just put another wide sofa along over here. I'm gonna actually bump you out like so. Is that facing the right direction? Yes, okay. That's kind of what I wanted. Um, and yeah, we'll put in a couple bookshelves, I don't know, like this, and a simple sofa, like so. Then we should place in some more chairs, just in case we end up doing an Alcoholics Anonymous group. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. And is there anything else I really care to do right now? I don't think there's anything else you really need, technically, in a common room. So yeah, this will be great. And that'll give the minimum security a nice place to kind of hang out. 
Uh, we could expand this area out soon, but for now, let's just worry about increasing the dormitory. Bunk bed. How we decide we're spacing this? Two in between? We'll just do this. Don't have to have that much space. Come on. Why am I being so nice to these women? There. Lots of room. Huge dormitory. Does not need to be this big. And we have a guard just patrolling in here incessantly. And I feel kind of sad for you, but... Oh well. It'll be fine. Alright, workers. Go forth. Demolish trees. Get me wood. And also build a wall. Or something. Have we detected any tunnels yet? Not that I can tell. Now that everyone's waking up and they have lock uh, lockdown, let's just go ahead and do a quick shakedown. I, it, I figure it's time. It's been a few days. Let's just make sure there's no more contraband. Guards, get around there. Search. Look at all this stuff. So many boxes to be searching right now. Oh, a lot of it's turf and stuff as well. What was that? A syringe? A needle? Some illegal narcotics. Lots of cell phones, interestingly enough. Not too sure why. For another 49 hours, we're not allowed to have any visitation. That just seems downright cruel. We could just make it mandatory to have a guard stationed in the area. I mean, gosh. Just because there was a few incidents in visitation areas, you have to make it so that for the next, like, several weeks, no one's allowed to talk to their families? That's ridiculous. By the way, apparently we found a knife over here. Don't like these guys. But all right. Let's go ahead and build out some more capacitors, because I think we're getting kind of closed out on some of our space. Somebody has decided to beat up on a guard. Several guards. What the crud? Look at this. Several unconscious people. Whoa! What happened? I do not know. But I think we need more beds. More infirmary beds. Medical beds. That's the proper term. One, two, three, four. We can afford it as well. Wow, danger level is like really high as people have been searched and they don't like being searched unnecessarily. That lady's unconscious on the ground, but... Oh, and this one had an axe! This security prisoner had an axe! Well, geez, this is why we did the shakedown, people. Right, okay, um, we're placing a few things. Uh, we're placing a metal detector in a few more places, because holy freaking crap, if they can walk around with a hatchet, then, uh, we need to be very concerned. Where's the metal detector? Place it there. Place a checkpoint, I don't know. Let's say, here. And here. And here. Place one outside of the kitchen in both directions. There. And this is unnecessary. If they have to walk through the visitation area to come back, they'll go through these metal detectors. We just need to be detecting all this contraband because, holy crap, you can't have an axe, guys. That's ridiculous. We'll place a couple more over here as well. Now, I need to make sure some utilities are all wired up. So, whoops, let's get some electrical cable over there. Already good there. Cable. Cable should be fine there. There. Not quite there. And uh, there as well. And that seems to be more or less okay, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to increase the security substantially because holy crap. That's like really freaking bad. I mean, I expect... Oh, great. They're beating... They're blowing stuff up in my holding cell. And we have two deaths! Who's dying? Were you, a, were you a snitch? No, you were fearless. You were fearless right up until the point you died, you crazy cat lady. What'd you do? How did you die? Who murdered you? This shakedown was clearly a huge mistake. Now we have to beat up all these different prisoners, including a mommy. Oh, this is tragic. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but apparently people really don't like being searched for no good reason, and they go on a murderous rampage. All I wanted to do was make sure that there weren't a bunch of contraband. I found a knife and an axe and two drills. I feel kind of justified in my dis- Oh, great, and one of the maximum security murdered by a prisoner. Great. So another maximum security person is dead. I mean, great, that's one less maximum security threat I have to worry about. You know, I will shed no tears for them, but still. Oh, God. Well, this is bad. Um, I do mildly regret this decision I made. Mildly. But something had to be done. Something had to be done, after all. I'm going to go ahead and start laying out some foundation over here. We're going to expand out a new prison area, and including going to wing off an area for some maximum security people. Because they're going to be a problem. We all know it. You know it. I know it. Just can't allow that. What's this? Oh. Hang on. 100 meters by 160 meters. Total area, 1,600 square meters. $80,000, and you can buy... 
this. Same down here, actually. $80,000. Wow, you can really expand out your prison. You know the alternative is just play on your large map. I mean, if you just play on large, I think you'll be fine. I don't know. Place a large jail door like this for now. Well, we're almost done with the shakedown. And the important thing is none of my guards die. Just, you know, two prisoners died for totally needless reasons. Oh, we need to get some metal detectors over here too, don't we? These are expensive, which is the only reason I haven't been placing so many of these, but... I think we kind of have to. Yeah. Don't want to allow them any av avenue to cause problems for me. doop 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 Utilities. There. I mean, what did I do wrong there, exactly? I just wanted to make sure you had no contraband. Only a guilty person would try to hide it. And then once they were detected, it's like, well, holy crap, I guess we might as well use the weapon while I still have it. Die! Die! How dare you? Also, why is there a prisoner here? They don't need to be in the forestry area. I thought it was only gardeners that can, like, grow this stuff. Or something. Oh, heck if I freaking know at this point. Ugh. Ugh. So irritating. Alright. Well, despite the fact that some people are dead, um, we've done the best we could. Who can't be assigned? Is it, is it some of these new... Oh, we have new ladies. Hi, new ladies. To make up for the ones that died. Handling stolen goods. Naked lady. MH. Meh, I guess. I don't know. What about you? Oh, here we go. Lioness Atani, a case of being in the wrong place at the wrong time, found at the scene of a murder of a top-ranking naval officer with no alibi and the murder weapon in her hands. Earned the nickname Lioness in prison due to her prowess and survival instincts. Sentenced to 16 years for kidnapping and trafficking, but apparently not murder. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What about you, lady? Trafficking. How about you? Car theft. You? Car fight and counterfeiting currency. Yeah, a lot of prisoners here. And apparently too many trucks because we can't close the gates again. <laughs> That's a little on the annoying side. Can you, can you guys please unload stuff a little bit faster? Alright, whatever. It'll be fine. Oh, man. What have we done? And apparently the dog handler thing is getting confused again. I don't know. I, I give up trying to understand how that works. We need to build a family cell, I think. I think that might be the reason that we can't get someone assigned. So let's do a quick build. Let's clone this. Like so, and place you here. And here. Is that, is that right? No, this is all wrong. Nope, 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 nope! Cancel all of that. Ugh. And walls, cancel you. There. I don't know, I'll rearrange the family cell thing later. Found some scissors. Okay, these, these maximum security people are, like, a serious problem. I'm getting really annoyed. Why is this lady wandering around naked? I can see your butt crack. Lioness, do you not have a uniform? No, you just decided you wanted to wander around the prison nude to get to the shower. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Why not? <laughs> uh, why the heck not? How's the wall doing? Looks like the wall's actually making some really good progress. There's a lot more to go. Apparently, it... Did it not actually want to build the wall for some reason? No, it's it's definitely queued up. Yeah, whatever. Let's just go back up to max speed. Yeah, so, um... Fun stuff, guys. Fun stuff. Can we unlock this, please? Open. And then don't leave it locked open. Yeah, I, I need to go to bureaucracy and I need to, uh, I need to unlock this remote access thing because this is really useful. Because doors are slowing me down quite a bit. Guard towers. Snipers. <laughs> Maybe we can place one, like, right in the middle of, like, the yard. And if anyone riots, the sniper will just sit there trained on everybody like, Die! Headshot. Boom. Headshot. It'll be great. Is that allowed? Or do we have to build them out in the corners? You know? Like the traditional prison that we all think of. I don't even know anymore, man. I am going to expand out the f storage area a little bit more. Because it turns out, the storage area isn't big enough. So, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, well, we can at least place the armory now, right? Yeah, we can totally place an armory. Like so. For this, we need a table, weapons rack, and a guard locker. I think you need one locker for each uh, armed guard you're going to have. And I think you might need one uh, weapon rack for each one as well. So, first things first, let's get ourselves a table. We'll place it here. 
Uh, guard locker. Place two there. Where's the weapon racks? There it is. Weapon rack. Here. And we'll place two for good measure. Found another drill. See, I'm glad I placed these metal detectors because apparently I'm finding all sorts of dangerous contraband. Okay. We need to set up a guard here in the workshop because clearly people are stealing stuff a lot. So let's go ahead and fix that. I mean, we have a fair bit of cash flow. Maybe we should just hire a lot more guards. Let's get four more. And uh, where else do I want to deploy them? Let's see. Got one here. Got one here. Let's place one in the yard. Don't need to worry about visitation right now, per se. So I'm not gonna. Uh, are we worried about this area? No, I don't think so. Do we care about forestry? No, I don't think so. We could have more here, I suppose. Mm, could have one constantly in the deliveries area. Try to prevent phones from getting in and stuff. Could be alright. We'll place one there. And then we'll be, let the others just kind of go around and do the day-to-day -day jobs of, like, searching people and stuff like that. It'll be okay. Uh, how are we doing as far as programs? Still doing some workshop safety. Five people passed. Good. So now we can actually do some carpentry. Kitchen safety and hygiene. Lots of people wanting to do this foundation education program. Maybe we should start another one. Nope. Oh, all rooms are booked. We would need another classroom. All right. Carpentry apprenticeship. Only one person is interested and qualified. We could do behavioral therapy. Inmates often struggle to control their violent nature. These one-on-one -on -one sessions with the prison psychologist aims to give them the tools necessary to de-escalate a situation. Could be useful, actually, if they've been referred for violence. Uh, we could also do a pharmaceutical treatment for drug addiction and alco alcoholic groups therapy. We could also do some spiritual guidance. Now, we're paying money for every single one of these, but... Ooh, we also have a lot of people in parole. Okay, so we're spending a lot of money for every one of these sessions, but I think it's worth it. Try to make these people a little bit happier. Give them different avenues for expressing their anger or their problems. Stuff like that, you know? How are the needs looking? Actually pretty decent across the board in a lot of ways. Have we finished building this or did it get cancelled in some way or something? No. Blocked. What do you mean blocked? It's not blocked. You can get in there just fine. Make a high priority, please. All of you people. I, I don't know what our workers are doing that are slowing them down. Get out here and build the foundations. There shouldn't be anything blocking this. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Huh. I mean, I, I know that there are some logs in the way and a tree stump. She get in some dynamite and blow up the stump. Will that fix the problem? No idea. No freaking clue. Let's get rid of this. Huh. Okay. Apparently some prisoners are still unable to be assigned. It probably is just maximum security people, honestly. That's probably all that it is. What are our workers doing that are not letting them finish this? There's not much that has to be done here. Prisoner wages? We're paying the prisoners? What? I don't want to pay the prisoners! Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do at this point. I'm confused on why some of these things aren't working the first try. I'm kind of confused why people all died. I'm confused about a lot of different things. We need to assign some armed guards. So I'm going to go ahead and hire some people and then just immediately fire them. Well, no. First, these weapon racks need to be done. Honestly, it's just the walls. That's what's taking them so long. The walls aren't done. Okay. Did we finish the remote access? Good. Let's grab surveillance next. Can we please, in the security office, place something that would allow us to control the doors? Door control system. That sounds like what I'm looking for. Place you there. Cost a thousand dollars. I'm gonna go ahead and prioritize this. Control left click. Make a higher priority. There you go. So our workers should be able to do that. Good! The foundations are finally done. Now we can work on some cells for our maximum security prisoners. Not that it's the most secure thing I think I've ever built, but... Uh, it'll, it'll work. I hope. For now. Let's see. Place here, 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 and here, here, here. And then we'll dismantle this door. Place a new jail door to separate these prisoners. And then I can designate this as a maximum security only place, I hope. Found a knife, but good. That's why we have metal detectors that everyone has to walk through. In a checkpoint system. We also are getting surprisingly close on our capacitors because guess what? You build that many 
metal detectors and it's a bit of a problem. Are you guys not perturbed at all that there's a giant gate that apparently just slides across your staff room and cuts off the area? Don't stand in front of that slit, Billy. I know it's your first day on the job, but if you stand there, the gate might open unexpectedly and you'll get squished. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Can we please build the weapon racks? I want to get these armies done, hire a couple of guards, and then I'll end this video. There we go. Door control. So how do we tell someone they have to work this? That's a good question. Place this here. Okay, now we can hire two armed guards. Okay, I have to put them on a patrol. Uh, what patrol should I put them on? Could wander them up and down a max security wing. I'm not sure that's necessary, but... We'll do it for now. Armed patrol. And we'll sign... Two to it. And there we go. Alright, now I'm just going to fire them. Because I don't actually want to pay for them because they raise up the tension significantly. Staff. Fire. And fire. There we go. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys didn't want me to hire you only to fire you. It might seem a little bit misleading. I understand your concerns, but that's what needed to happen. So, clear connections connect. I can connect this to a door? No. What am I connecting it to? How does, how does this work? Hang on. Connect to what? Maybe because it doesn't have any power, I can't do anything yet. I am not sure what the problem is. I guess, I, I, maybe, maybe once it's hooked up, hooked up to electricity, we'll be able to find out. But we are at a point where I need to be ending up this video, so let's expand out the storage area a little bit more. There we go. And hopefully that'll have to be good enough. We have way too many delivered items. Beds, lights, bookshelves, toilets, and so on. Oh, right, and we also need to get some utilities up here, don't we? I just remembered. That would be kind of important. Uh, where are we placing the toilets? Okay. Let's do that real quick before I forget. Then we'll end the video. Doop a doop doop. Doop a doop. Doop a doop 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 doop. And electrical cables, of course, have to run all the way up here as well. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I think we've made some pretty good progress. The prison's looking pretty good. Needs are being met. Capacity is being increased and so on. How the staff needs, they're looking pretty good, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else we really need to be doing besides just continue what we have been doing and expand. Um, oh, what's missing here? Oh, we don't have a door. Well, no wonder some prisoners can't be assigned with their babies. We never actually finished this place. I'll worry about that in between the next video. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time in Klaus's Wunderstrafenstadt. Bye-bye. <laughs>